Good morning, Hot Tots, and welcome back to my channel. So, you guys, I'm doing a little prep for San Diego vlog today in this. I have no idea where this vlog is going to go, but I didn't even know if I was going to go to San Diego because, honestly, my bladder stuff has been next level. Like, I usually feel when it happens that I have like a raging UTI, but I don't feel like that insane urgency constantly. And like for literal 48 hours, I felt that insane urgency and I thought I was going to die. Like I literally was like losing my mind. Luckily it has finally kind of calmed down. I've only been drinking water. I've been eating the plainest food in the world. I have no idea. Like, obviously I think like anything with inflammation doesn't help, you know what I mean? So like, but I don't know that that's the root cause. I did go to my primary care physician and I was telling her about it because I was saying like, what else can I do? I'm waiting to go to the specialist, blah, blah. And she kind of was saying to me like, Sophie, I, there's nothing else I can do for you. I'll go ahead and order a scan for you to get done so that they have that, we have that done before you get to the specialist, like a full body scan where they're just gonna check and make sure like all my organs are in the right place, like my kidneys and stuff. And like, they don't see any masses and stuff like that. But she basically said, that's all left that she can do. And then I need to go to the specialist, which isn't until May, but, um, she did go ahead and prescribe me. She doesn't think it's this, but she's like, we might as well try it in the meantime. She did prescribe me a different kind of overactive bladder medicine than I've taken before. So she prescribed that to me. I'm going to go pick it up at the store. And she's like, we'll just take this for the next four to six weeks. If nothing gets better, throw it away. I only have you on a 30 day prescription. Uh, if it does get better, call me and I'll just keep prescribing you it. And I'm like, okay, so we're going to pick that up and we're going to try it. There's part of me that just wishes that was it, but I just kind of feel in my heart that that's not it because it comes and goes. Like when I'm not having a flare up, I can hold my bladder for hours and hours. I don't have this problem when I'm having a flare up. It's insane. So <laughs> let me show you guys. I, for the specialist, am supposed to keep track of how many times I go to the bathroom. Put that in there. But yesterday was a bad day. I went to the bathroom, like peed, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 times in the day and felt like intense, intense urgency. And then today has been a better day so far and I've only gone, it's now like four o'clock. I've only gone one, two, three, four, five, six times. So, and by this time yesterday, I had gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 times. So it was like really bad in the morning and then it kind of subsided. Anyways, I was really nervous and I didn't know if I would go to San Diego because I was in so much pain. The AZO pills weren't doing anything. Like, um, I've been taking two Aleves and then taking the AZO pills and like, it wasn't doing anything. It wasn't helping at all. I, I thought I was going, you guys, I thought I was going to go insane. Like I was scared for myself. Um, but luckily we're now in a better place today. It's not as bad as it was yesterday. It's still like, I always feel like I have to pee, but it's not like the urgency. It's like, oh, I have to go pee. I'll go pee within the hour and I'll be fine type vibe. I don't know, you guys, I just don't know. But I'm gonna go there and then we're gonna go to Target to kind of find maybe some odds and ends of things I might need for my trip. I kind of have Pinterest inspo. I'll pop some pictures up here of what I wanna wear on the trip. And I have a lot of those items. There's just like maybe some, I don't have many bottoms. So I'm like maybe gonna find some like flowier type shorts or like um, a big thicker belt to look cuter with like an outfit or like maybe an extra little like shirt dress because I don't have any of those that I think would be cute for like a laid back look but cute to go out, you know. Just some odds and ends, maybe add a couple of things to like basic things, but maybe not. I just kind of want to head to Target. I've been inside all day because you guys know I work from home and it's been so rainy all day. Look at this. 
It has been hailing. The electricity has gone on and off. This mascara I love. I actually love the Rare Beauty Mascara. It never falls from my face and it will not come off until I use like a makeup wipe. So we are definitely loving this more now than we did before. Okay, let's go. Okay, we're at the store. I just wanted to grab more blueberries and get my prescription. Very obsessed with these blueberries, you guys. It's a sickness. Might as well pick Ollie up some food while I'm here, so I'll grab that too. All right, just grabbing some mini things, and then also my prescription, you guys, was a hundred dollars. She luckily gave me a discount thing. It was fifty, but I'm like, oh my gosh. Welcome, valued customer. Thank you. Place item in bag or cart, then scan next. Okay, now we're off to Target. So I don't know if you guys, if I said this already, I forget. But basically I've been eating nothing with any acidity and drinking nothing but water. And so I grabbed a coconut water, so I hear that's fine to drink if acidity is what's making me have these bladder problems, which we don't know. But um, so I grabbed a coconut water and then I grabbed a bunch of blueberries because literally all I've eaten the last three days is eggs, blueberries, Cool Whip, uh, steak, shrimp, and vegetables. Usually broccoli, that's been the last three days. Right now at Target, gonna look at some clothes and then also look at some food. Okay, this is cute. <laughs> I love that, is this like a sleeping thing or is this like a cute set? I don't know. But would I want the pink? Or like this brown. See how that girl has it? I don't like the pink. Okay, we have some trying on to do. <laughs> I definitely wanna try everything on though and see what I like, what I don't, so I grab different colors. Okay, I wouldn't put these together, but I definitely love this shirt. The pants, I feel like I need one size up so that they're not like as tight on my stomach and they like flow out, you know? But I like this shirt. I think this shirt's really cute. These you definitely need like nude underwear because you can see everything. <laughs> no, I don't like this. These were too big. They said large, but they're extra large. This shirt was okay. The shorts I don't think I'm gonna get just because they're so see-through. Wait, is this cute as a dress though? No, I just don't think the color does anything for me. Nothing is working for me today, you guys. This just looks so bad. Granted, this is a size small, but the pocket placement just makes it look so bad. Who would put pockets like right on the sides like that? This is cute, but I just don't like how the sides come up because I feel like no one wants their sides showing. Only things I'm keeping, I think. I may put it all back. I needed pants and I can't find any pants. Honestly, I'm probably gonna return half of this stuff, but I'll show you everything when I get home. I'm not gonna lie, I was having a really bad body image day today and trying stuff on at Target did not help. So, anyways, I'll show you what I got from Target. I got two big things of blueberries. I think because I'm just drinking water and I have no flavor, I've been downing blueberries. Like half a pack a day. So good. I bought a coconut water just to see if I like it. I don't, but I'll drink it anyways. I bought just like a little to-go razor, a small Colgate toothpaste, a toothbrush cover, and then these to put just like my shampoo conditioner. I actually wanted to put baking soda in one because I'm going to bring baking soda in case my bladder stuff hurts. Um, I think it helped a lot last time. I did a teaspoon of baking soda in some water and then, you know, whatever else I need. And then I'm gonna keep these for future use. Grabs tons of Cool Whip because you're not able to have chocolate. Chocolate is a bladder flare upper, I guess which is so depressing. 
And then I grabbed two things of these veggie spinach egg white frittatas. I love them. Um, they do have some citrus fiber in them, but everything else in here was fine. Canola, canola oil, we don't love that, but everything else was good on the list of not to eat for bladder stuff. So I'm just keeping those, eating those in the morning. I also have regular egg whites and stuff. I just like, I just love those. So anyways, and then bought this for the Bubba's. And then I'm not able to have chocolate. So I bought vanilla Jello, which I'm sure this has something I shouldn't have in it. No, it's actually not bad artificial flavoring, but then it just has like water, modified cornstarch, milk protein, coconut, blah, blah, blah. So whatever, I gotta survive, you know? I'm honestly not hungry for dinner, so I probably won't eat dinner. I'll just snack on blueberries and I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna carry this vlog into tomorrow. Oh yeah, I have to show you what clumps I got. Duh. I also just took one of my first pills. It's the Tolterodine Tart Tarrate Extended Release Capsule. It's only two milligrams. We'll see how this goes. I got these pants, which I did try on there. I saw them as I was walking out and they're so cute. These were what I was looking for. And so I'm really hoping that they fit and look cute. They're just like flowy black pants. I can wear these for work, but then I can also wear these with like just like a white tee, you know, crossbody bag with some white sneakers or with like cute little heels and dress them up for Palm Springs. So I'm gonna try these on. I'll, you guys will try them on with me. I got this shirt, cause I just thought I've been loving blue on me lately. So I just got this little blue shirt to wear with like my little jean shorts or my jeans. Um, just as like a day shirt to wear. And that's something like I'm never gonna get sick of. These are like staples that I'm never gonna just, it's never gonna go out of style. I shrunk my white shirt. You guys will remember last year I bought this same exact shirt. <laughs> I shrunk it. Um, so we're gonna be careful this time, but I bought an XXL so it's oversized. So I could wear it even as a uh, like pool cover up open with like a cute little top and shorts or closed. I have a cute top and shorts. I bought these two little tube tops because I figured like for that, like I could wear it underneath that with some jean shorts or with some jeans and that, but that would still cover me and my sides, but it would just be like a cute little like look. And then I bought this because I needed like a, some nice type of top to wear with jeans. So I thought this was cute. Um, it buttons right here. I could also wear this to work staple type of color so it's not anything crazy which is what i'm really focusing on these days but cute i could wear a cute bralette under it but wear it with jeans jean shorts and kind of dress up the outfit this way so brought that bought that we'll try those on the guy was so sweet he like folded everything so nicely for me it's really nice that's that i've been having a really bad body image thing lately like just in general I don't think the bladder stuff really helps but also just like I'm still six pounds away from my usual weight and I just feel it like I just feel it when my clothes don't fit feel it all the time and like even the last three days three or four days I haven't really been eating much because I'm just like my bladder stuff has been bad and so I'm like still weighing in the same weight and it's just frustrating and it's not like I think I'm gonna lose all this weight but I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I just don't know. But enough about that. I'm just so happy, honestly, that my bladder stuff has calmed down today, knock on wood. And it's not nearly as bad as it was the last two days because the last two days I thought I was going to lose my mind. I literally was like, I can't, I can't survive this. Um, and luckily the urgency has gone down. Anyways, I'll try these on for you guys either tonight or tomorrow. So you'll see them, but I think I'm going to just turn on some TV and relax for a little bit. I downed this water, which how am I dehydrated when I literally have been drinking water all day long? 
riddle me this. Good morning, I scratched myself. I just put on a little gym outfit. This is the Sydney Adams liaison bra and it really makes you look like you have boobs. We're very happy about it. <laughs> but I need to clean up this place. I mean, I still haven't made my bed. I've slept on my bare bed for two nights. Like now that we're feeling a little better today, we're not giving ourselves, throwing ourselves a pity party. Um, we're going to clean up and then we're gonna go on a really long walk. Whether or not I'm gonna go outside, I'm not sure. We're gonna see how cold it is, but I wanna do a really long walk today. I have a couple meetings this morning. And so I kind of think that maybe I could take those meetings while walking. Look how boobalicious. <laughs> Inappropriate for the internet, but like, oh my gosh, this makes me look like I have boobs because it pushes them completely in. Whatever, I'm happy about it. Literally refilling this one water bottle <laughs> with my water and putting it in the refrigerator so that it's colder. But we're gonna clean. Oh geez, I don't know if this is gonna go well. We're gonna clean, we're gonna make our bed with our clean bedding. Then we're gonna go on a really long walk, finish our work day. Tyler had said, oh, and we're gonna start like kind of looking at outfits to pack. That's the whole point of this freaking video. Tyler had said he got free tickets to the Blue Jackets game for tonight, which I love it's watching hockey. If you guys don't know, that's my favorite sport to watch is hockey. Um, favorite sport to watch in person, that is. But I, since because my all bladder stuff has been going on, I told him, eh, maybe see if someone else can go with you. Um, just because I get like really anxious about like if I have to pee and get up and like move people, like, you know. Um, so he's gonna see if his brother wants to go and stuff like that. And I said, if no one can go, then I'll go with him because I obviously love hockey. I just, right now I'm having all these bladder issues. So it's making me really not want to be sitting in a row where I have to like constantly get up or make people move to go to the bathroom. And I'm weird about that stuff. Uh, you know, it's the woman in me where you're like, oh, I don't want to like upset anybody. I. This is stuff that I think I'm gonna wanna pack. I have some stuff also hung up like right here. Maybe today that's what we'll do. Today slash tonight, that is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try on outfits for you guys after we do our walk and take a shower and all that. Laundry. Yeah, I'm definitely bringing these on vacation. The gray sweatsuit, I think is gonna be my one sweatsuit I bring. For show. Whoa. Let's do pillows first. Make some like this. Okay, let's make the bed before. Okay, so I decided not to put that on this yet. I wanna clean, like wash my duvet. From my old blanket thing, it put, like pilled all these little things on it. And so I'm like, well, I haven't washed this in a really long time. I might as well wash that first. So that's gonna be the next load after this one. You guys, it's later in the day. I just made good chicken. I just did a little bit of olive oil, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, and then, um, some McCormick's steak seasoning. So good. And then I'm making some broccoli right now. I haven't made it yet. I'm so proud of myself. I went on a walk, a very short one, mind you, because my sister FaceTimed me. And so the walk was cut short, but we are gonna pick out our outfits tonight. And you will see that but I had to make some dinner and this is so good. I also bought the cilantro lime rice from Uncle Ben's Ready Rice and it is really good. I'm proud of myself. Mm-hmm. That's juicy. A lovely cheese pizza just for me. Okay guys, I'm gonna try on all my clothes, my new clothes, and then just kind of show you the outfits I'm thinking of. I was gonna do this tomorrow when I have like some makeup on and you can really see the full picture, but I think I'm gonna do 
tomorrow. Maybe I'll do it a little bit, but I think I'm going to just say screw it. You guys just see me with and without makeup. You can imagine. So first thing I'm going to try on are these black pants that I didn't try on yet. I think these are going to be really cute if they fit right to like be a dress up and dress down type of pant for work and for um, Palm Springs. So let me try those on. And then I think I'll just try that on with one of my fitted tops. Or maybe I could just, I guess I could just throw on one of these tube tops too. So I'll show you. You guys, I love these. I'm a little bloated right now because I just ate all that food you just saw. These are so stinking cute and they're really flowy. Obviously like, you know, my hair would be done. This lighting would be better and I'd be tan ideally, but <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like this would look so cute dressed up with some like heels and like something else, you know, what vibe am I looking for? Or it would be cute dressed down like these with just some white sneakers and then like my white tube top and just like be bopping around. Oh my gosh. I love these. These are the other pants I wanted to bring. I wanted them to be a little flowier because you can see like where my stomach is, especially right now. I'm like, oh, so bloated. But I feel like this would also be cute with white. And then either, well, let's put it together, shall we? We, we have the time. So we could definitely do like such a beachy type vibe, you know, wearing it like this. And I think that's really cute too. Like having a little, just a tiny bit of tummy show cause I'm not a tummy gal, but you know, cute necklaces, hair up, makeup done. You get the vibe. Like this could be a day, gosh, I'm so pale, but a daytime look. I could wear it with my cute, I could wear the black tank with my golden hat. I could wear this with my Louis Vuitton or just wear it obviously like this looking cute and not, you know, with some makeup on. But also I did grab this shirt, which I think would look super cute just with a pair of jean shorts. I need to iron it and I could wear this with either jean shorts cause that's cute which I am so full right now, you guys. I could wear it with like little jean shorts and like my sneaks, or I could wear this with my jeans, which I need to pack a pair of jeans. Another look I thought would be super cute would be this outfit with high heels with this oversized jacket and the belt little dress up outfit and then have my little black small heels on. <laughs> I think this would be such a cute little outfit to go out in like for just like a nice dinner or something. Cute oversized jacket. I could also do this with my jeans, which I think would be really cute. And I did buy this dress shirt. So I'm wondering if I would want to wear it like this with jean shorts or with jeans. So this is that other shirt that I bought and I thought this was really flattering. It like flows out and then it looks really cute. Again, I could wear it with my little black heels and it'd be like more of like a dressier, cuter fit. I feel like you guys are not getting like a good vibe from how I have to put the camera. I should probably just hold the camera and show myself in the mirror. But wouldn't this be cute? Like this type of thing with the little black heels. Pretend I'm like a lot tanner, you know, that type of vibe. I thought this would be cute. Of course with makeup and stuff on you guys. <laughs> Have like a little gym fit, but it's like I can throw this on and we can go walk around, have the hat and like look cute. I also could put it with the jacket, with my tennies, you know, with like some white higher socks. I think that would be super cute with or without the hat, but you know, just doing versatile things where I can kind of like mix and match. And I'm debating between this dress, you guys know how it kind of made me look a little wider, but it's new and I think it's really cute. But then this dress I know that I love, but it's short. So it's not as dressy. Like I feel like I could wear a jean jacket with this or this. Um, 
I could dress this up though with like jewelry and all that stuff. I just feel like this is like longer, flowier Palm Spring vibes. So I don't know, maybe I'll bring both, but I kind of want to bring a couple dress options to see kind of how I'm feeling. But I think I'm doing a lot of those basics then plus workout clothes. We're working out every day. We're going hiking, going to Orange Theory one day, like doing all the things. Some bathing suits, of course. And then my other up in the air thing was bringing these like little cute black overalls. Um, debating that. Should I bring like one more kind of beachy shirt? Should I bring like this, this see-through-y one so I could wear it like, I don't know, with just a pair of jeans and it had like a bralette and it's kind of see-through flowy. And then I have this black shirt and then this black tank, I thought, wouldn't that be cute? Just a black flowy tank with black leggings or a pair of jeans with like my high heels. But I just don't know. I truly don't know how much nice stuff I'm really going to need. So I'm debating what I need to bring for that reason. Like, I don't know how much eat. Like, we're going to eat out dinner every night. I know that as much as I know. But it's going to be kind of chill places for the most part. Like, I'm sure we'll go to, like, a nice dinner someday, some night. Or, like, everywhere in Palm Springs, my friend Lauren said, is, like, very vibey. Like, very, like, no one gives a crap. So, you want to look nice, but you don't need to look, like, dressed to the nines. But, I don't know. I may show you all this again when I have makeup on tomorrow. Because I just feel like I can't get the vibe unless I do that. But you kind of, you get it, you know, if not. I'm just going to bring a couple pair of jean shorts, match them up with like black, white, high heels or sneakers. Same thing with jeans, t like jeans and tanks or shorts and long sleeves. Like that's where I kind of feel like it's at. I'm going to use this as like a cover up for my mostly every day <laughs> with my little tanks. And then I was thinking, obviously that blue shirt I could wear, this blue one, I could wear my jean shirt just over a tank. So it's something like flowy that I could wrap around my waist if needed. I was trying to think of like one more thing that I could bring that could be like the over the arms situation, but then I can take it off. But everything else I have is kind of like a jacket. And I just feel like it might be, it might be a little too hot there for like an actual jacket. And I was going to bring this bodysuit. You guys remember I wore this to my cousin's wedding. It's like a one shoulder, but I don't think we're going anywhere that dressy. So I feel like... That would be a little weird. For the most part, I always just wear jean shorts and a top to go to the beach too. So I was going to bring this beach cover up. But I'm like, do I even really need it? Because I doubt I'll always probably throw on a pair of jean shorts. So who knows? We'll figure it out. Not going to lie. I was going to just pack a carry on. But honestly... With the amount of shoes I want to bring, I'm not sure carry-on is going to cut it. <laughs> well, guys, it's the next day again. It's Sunday. You'll see this tomorrow. I'm heading to the mall just to see if I can find some things. Like, I don't know. I just feel like my one pair of jean shorts, I only have two pairs of jean shorts now because um, I got rid of a bunch of all my other ones. And the one pair that I had that I was trying on when I was looking at the footage the cut that like they had on it has gone up higher and I just feel like they're not holding their structure very well. And so I kind of wanted to just go to Abercrombie um, and see if they have any like good shorts. And then of course just bebop around the mall by myself. So you guys know what else is really cool? My right eye is getting blurry randomly now. So I don't know if that's from the overactive bladder medicine or what. But my right eye is just beginning blurry. Oh. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm feeling so much better today. Like, not normal, but better. And so I don't know if it's overactive bladder medicine. I don't know if it's just it would have happened anyways. You guys know how this is. But either way, thankful that it's not super bad anymore. Um, oh, my gosh. So thankful. This, like, lasted, like, four days. was, like, the rough hard urgency and then after that was like I mean it's been like two weeks total um but my flare-ups have known to last like my longest flare-up lasted six months so I'm just so glad that this isn't that at least I hope not but yeah so I'm just gonna go look around I'll show you guys a couple clips of stuff and then that'll probably end out this 
video. And then Thursdays is going to be me packing and like chatting with you guys. Um, cause that's fun, you know? And I just feel like I am pretty much just trying to eat anything that's in my house. Maybe I'll do a what I eat in a day, but I'm just trying to do like anything that's in my house. Like just get rid of stuff. I did weigh in this morning, you guys though. And I'm down to five dot oh which i was 6.4 last week so if you don't know like i do blank blank and then my weight so like i might as well just say the amount of pounds i've lost instead of saying like a, a weight like the last two digits of my weight so i was doing like say it's say i was at 156.4 i would say 6.4 is where i was at last week and then this week i'm at 5.0 so i'd be 155 i'm not 155 but you get it so um I've lost in total 5.4 pounds in the last, I mean, almost two months. So a, a slow process, but a healthy process. But I'm five pounds away from my usual weight. As you guys know, it's just been hard for me, you know, and I was having a bad body image day yesterday that you guys saw like when I was shopping and whatnot at Target. Um, I basically just am like, okay, so if you are losing the weight, it's just my clothes aren't fitting right since I'm five pounds from my normal weight and I hold all of my weight in my stomach. Like I obviously have fat in my arms. I mean, I would love to just suction that out of me. If honestly, if lipo in your arms didn't have you get cut like all the way down your arm, I would totally think of lipo for your arms. <laughs> Seriously. Like, Oh, to have skinny arms, what a dream. But anyway, um, I weighed myself this morning and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm like the lowest I've been in a while since September when I just gained 13 pounds all of a sudden in three weeks. Um, so my body's finally calming down. I haven't been doing anything crazy by any means, but probably because I've just not been eating inflammatory stuff, it's helped, but yeah, I'm down to 5.0. So I'm just going to keep it up because if I could get down to my normal weight, I would be happy. And then obviously would love to lose like 10 additional pounds after that. And then I think I would be like, I wouldn't even be like, if you heard the weight, you wouldn't be like, oh, you're so skinny by any means. But like, I would just feel like that's my good weight to just tone up and stay at that around that weight, like would be a good weight for me for my height and like my body structure. Anyway, long story short, long story long. I'm going to Easton. I'll show you what happens when I get there. Okay, so here's where we are. I think I'm going to go towards the main mall mostly. There's like cute anthropology and stuff, but I just never find anything in there. I'm going to go to where all the good stuff is. It is so nice out today. I'm like, a perfect day for this. Tyler loves this guy. He's close, so I might get him something. him a little something. I'll show you guys when I get home. Definitely going into Zara. They're always hit or miss, but I love their jeans. So let's see. If I had a reason to wear this, how pretty. I love this. This is like corduroy-ish. That's so cute. Hey, are these cute or no? I can't tell. Definitely not with these pants, but this is cute. I love this, but I just don't know what top I'd wear. But this is so cute. This top looks a little better with it, but I don't think I'd wear this with it. I just don't know what. 
I would wear with it. Actually, this is kind of cute with it. I have a dark bra on, but it has pockets. Stop his American Eagle. I love this. This is so cute to me. <laughs> okay, I'm heading to Kimmy's. I'll show you everything I got when we get home. I'm gonna return some stuff for sure. I bought a bunch of different jean, like I bought two different jean dresses. You guys saw one of them. Um, just trying to figure out what I truly want to wear, and then I'll probably have to return some others but I did need work clothes since I have to go in once a week now and I'm gonna like be in hotter weather and then be in spring weather and whatever and I needed other things besides workout clothes and jeans um because all of my jeans have holes and you're not allowed to wear holes well it just isn't looked at greatly so just was trying to find some alternatives so I think I found some things that go work but good for work well for going to Cali and for this so excited about that but anyway heading to Kingy's now okay this is Kingy's it's like pizza beer pub style food you get what you get when you get it they give you popcorn while you wait it's amazing I love this place biggest drinks ever too these are huge I love it. Okay, I'm gonna start a new video tomorrow to like try stuff on and then finally pack. But just to show you guys everything I got, um, some I might return. It just depends. You know when you try stuff on at the place and you're like, I like it or I don't. Uh, I can, I could like it. I gotta see it with this or that. That's kind of how it was. So I bought this jean dress from where is this American Eagle. I definitely know I'll wear this. This, you just roll up your sleeves, you know, unbutton it with little white, little white sneakers. I could wear this to work in the, in between like springtime. I think I'd really like it. And it's just like such like a relaxed, cute look. So I know that I'll keep this one um, because I just know myself and I know I'll like that on me, but we'll see. I also bought this jean top, which I'm sure not all of you love, <laughs> but, um, oh, whoops, it goes this way the little triangle jean top. The reason why I liked it was I just liked how it looked on me. I feel like this is, oh, and it comes with straps so I could put straps on, but I just liked how it looked on me and how it like kind of cinched in everything and made it look smaller. And honestly, anything that makes me look smaller, I'm here for it. So I liked this and I could wear it with black jeans. I was thinking it would be cute or with maybe the white skirt, which I'll show you that white skirt again. Maybe that would be cute, I don't really know. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna put with what, but I just, I felt good in this little top and I don't ever feel good with my arms out. I never feel good in tops like this. So I was like, I'm buying it. If I feel good in it, we're rolling with it. I bought this, this is like a Lululemon dupe. It has shorts in it, but it's like this active wear vibe. Um, and I thought this would just be really cute to wear with like a jean jacket um, and white sneakers as we like walk around during the day, bebop around, but to look kind of trendy and cute, but also be dressed for the weather. Like I can take my jacket off. I could wear this on its own, like, and I'd still feel okay type of deal. So I bought that to bring with me on the trip for like during the day, especially for like going to brunch. I feel like that'll look cute, but I could still like go shopping around in it and not feel like too overdressed. So there's the, oh my gosh, they forgot to take this off. Ugh. Oh my gosh, that's so freaking annoying. I'm gonna have to bring that back in and get that taken off. Next, the only thing I bought from Abercrombie, which again, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try it on again tomorrow, see if I love it as much as I did today. But was this jean dress? I thought this would look cute for work with like white sneakers or little heels with like a little sweater over it. 
I just thought the top, I really liked the top on me. I don't know what it was, but I liked how the top was. It did fit a little snug in the stomach, but I don't feel like it made me look fat. So I was like, oh, I kind of like this vibe. So we'll see again. I'm going to try everything on again tomorrow and then return what I want to return since apparently I definitely have to go back tomorrow for that beeper on there. So freaking annoying. And then from Zara, the last but not least, I didn't try these on. You guys saw the other pants I tried on. Um, I didn't try these ones on, but I bought the next size up. So I had size 10s on in the dressing room with the black jeans that were like this. And so um, they fit and everything was fine, but I just felt like I like looked like diaperish. So I grabbed the 12s. And I feel like if these fit the correct way, they'd be a little looser and be like kind of baggy, like scrunched up pants that you wear with like a tighter tank, some white sneaks and some cute jewelry hair down, like, and you can kind of dress it up. So we'll see if it looks too diaperish, I'll return these. Um, I just didn't feel like trying those on in the dressing room. I had so many layers on you guys. I was like, why did I wear all this to go to the mall? It was so dumb. A lot of you probably won't like this skirt, but I really like it. And I like the way it made me feel like I felt really thin in it and like cute. And I want to, I obviously need to steam it, but I thought it's like this swishy parachute -y type of material, but I thought I could try it on with like different tops, different things, and just see if I can make it work. If I can't, I'll return it, but I'm, that's what I'm going to do tomorrow is just like try it with different tops, try it with different stuff and return it if I can't make it work with what I want. You know what I mean? Like get the vibe that I want. If I don't get the vibe I want, we'll bring it back. So that was that. And then I bought Tyler a little hat. He loves Travis Matthews, Travis Matthew. Um, he loves golf and he loves all the Travis Matthew stuff. So I got him this, he looks really good in blue. So I got him this hat. It's super cute and he can wear it golfing. I got him a hat for, um, he's going on a trip the same time I am actually. So if he doesn't own that hat already, I thought that'd be really cute and he'd have a new hat for his trip. So that's what I bought. I don't know if I'm keeping it all. Again, I think I'm gonna try it all on again tomorrow after I wake up because I'm like so full from dinner and my stomach kind of hurts actually. I think this medicine that I'm taking now, one of the side effects is like your stomach gets upset and I definitely think that's happening. But I'll take that over the pee pain any day. So we'll see if this is like working, I don't even know. It is making my mouth dry, so. We know it's working in that way because cotton mouth is a side effect of it as well. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. Like I said, the next video, I'm gonna do the packing because I'm gonna have to do that tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna have, so this video is gonna come out Monday, tomorrow. This is me yesterday. Um, and then my packing video is gonna come out Thursday. I may not have a video for the following Monday because I won't get back till Tuesday. And I just don't know what I would record on this past Tuesday to get it ready, get it up by the, for next Monday. So next Monday, we may not have a video, um, but I'll still try to post two times next week. It just may be Thursday and then some other day. But I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna vlog in California, only because Megan doesn't care if she's on camera. I don't know how Lauren feels. I don't know how much I'm gonna wanna be like recording it depends on my mood. And then I was thinking, well, it'd be kind of fun to like take little snips and make like reels, you know, they're just easier. So I might do that or I just might do a YouTube video or both. I just don't want to be stuck on my, my phone because when you have to do both, you're holding it up like vertical, like taking videos, then you're holding it sideways, horizontal, taking videos. And then it's just, it's just a lot. So I'm just kind of debating, you know, which way I'm going to go with this. So. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Um, if you were one of those ones that was like praying for me and stuff, like your prayers worked because my bladder feels so much better. And I'm just so appreciative because I was really like getting down and really going through it. So thank you so, so much, you guys, for always supporting me. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.